Welcome, today we're gonna to look at the craft to do filter. And while I'm not a huge fan of using your note taking system as your daily task manager, if you do do that, then this is a good tool to help you in craft move tasks around uh, when they're not done. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. Number one, become a member. Number two, uh, take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Members get my courses for free, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Or find links to my courses below uh, on Skillshare. Let's look at the to-do filter extension for craft. So as always, we find our craft extensions on GitHub and we find this here by looking for, uh, I guess it's Ian Leithberry to do filter. We go to releases and then we come and download the craft X file. And then we'd go over to craft and we'd go to plus. And I have already used, oh, it's not to plus. We go to the X, geez, and then we'd hit plus and then we'd actually uh, go find the file. Now, I already have it installed and I did make sure that it is the most recent one. Now, the easiest way to do that I've found actually is to open in Finder. This is going to be like honestly weird for those that aren't developers. And if I hit space here, I can open it up and I can see it's to do filter version 03. And I check that against the Safari, uh, what I see in Safari on GitHub. You see right here, right? 03. So I'm on the current version. Love to see craft update that so it can be easier. So this is a list for yesterday, things that I did. Um, I put pedals on my road bike, I set up my uni, and I set up the new outdoor table. So now is where the to-do filter would come into play. And I click to-do filter. And we can cut and filter, or we can cut uh, only cut incomplete items. So let's cut only cut incomplete items, and we'll cut and filter. So it deleted the one that was blank, and it cut and grabbed the new one. So now we are on the fourth. Let's grab the fourth, create a new daily note, and we can come back over here, paste. So now I have my swap, my new road tires on my road bike, which is good. That's really all it does. It makes it easier to automate the process of moving your tasks forward into the next day. Now, one thing I'd really love to see is some sort of notation, uh, like you see in bullet journal, where it has a, uh, is a greater than sign to show that something's been moved. I'd also even love to see um, like the swap the tires on my bike, that would be interesting to see like how many times has this been moved? A little number at the end, right? Two, three, five. So for something like that, I just didn't have time. I had to run kids around. So I did not get to swap my tires over. I will do this. It will come up next weekend, really. Um, so I could move that really uh, to next weekend. But it would be nice to see for other tasks, uh, read some book. Like if you've moved it 20 times, you're never going to read the book. So you should just abandon all hope. Don't worry about it. Absolve yourself of that responsibility because you're not going to do it. That would be nice to see. Otherwise, if you do filter your extensions or filter your tasks uh, in craft, if you do use a daily notes like that, that can be a really good one to use. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell, YouTube, let you know something happened. And then as always, turn off the notifications because you got better things to do, like get something done, read a book, hang with your kids. You can support the channel, curtismichael.ca slash membership, uh, curtismichael.ca slash education, member to get my courses included, or you can find my courses below uh, on Skillshare. Have an excellent day.